the veterans program, we serve post 9-11 veterans. Really anyone who served one day post 9-11 uh, with post-traumatic stress disorder or other post-traumatic symptoms. Dr. Sheila Rausch is a PTSD expert and psychologist who helps veterans transform and reclaim their lives in the span of a few weeks at Emory Healthcare's Veterans Program. The intention is really to take uh, all of the best information that we have. All Rausch and her colleagues took that best evidence they successfully used week after week and used it to create a mental health and help guide to deal with the COVID pandemic. What's really interesting is a lot of what we're going through with the pandemic is similar to what combat veterans experience because they are in uh, a long-term increased risk to life when you're in a combat situation. And then they have these specific incidents that happen. So a specific firefight or a specific loss of a friend, uh, those sorts of specific traumas. And that's a lot like what we all are experiencing who are treating people with COVID or who are going through this pandemic where it's a long period of increased risk where we're all kind of worried and wondering. And then there are specific incidents of trauma where we maybe have a friend that we lose or a loved one that we lose. And just being able to come here and Roush, have that memory and context. And Dr. Barbara Rothbaum, a world-renowned PTSD expert and executive director of the Veterans Program, created the guide with Dr. Naomi Simon, a psychiatrist colleague in New York at the height of the outbreak there. It's a phased plan to be used by healthcare workers, employers, all of us. The phases of the plan cover many months in various scenarios, and depending on where someone is at in the pandemic, may recommend seeking mental health help or other interventions. Some self-help tips in the guide include ensuring basic needs for food, sleep, and lodging are met. This is a huge stressor for the millions out of work. Enhance social connection and support. Use strategies that have helped you at stressful times in your life before, like talking with friends and family, exercise, prayer, yoga. Reduce unhelpful coping, such as overuse of alcohol or other harmful strategies and allow people to tell their stories when they're ready. The connection piece is hugely important for all of us, especially those who already have pre-existing mental health conditions. The people who are most at risk are the ones who are not feeling connection to others, not feeling support when someone experiences trauma and they feel alienated from those around them. It puts them at a very high risk of um, having lots of difficult mental health outcomes. It might be PTSD, it might be depression, it might be substance abuse. The phased approach for mental health response to COVID-19 is already being recommended across the country and referenced for use by the American Psychiatric Association, Anxiety and Depression Association of America, and others. Overall, people are very resilient. Um, Humans have been a very successful species on the planet because of that. So for most people, this is probably going to be a bump or a bunch of bumps in the road that we're gonna eventually recover from and be in a new place. It might not be the same place we were, um, but a new place where we're thriving and doing the things that we need to do to have meaning in our life.